what I do remember was I asked him, do you believe that God is one? He said, yes. I said, do you believe that the Quran is a message from God? He said, yes. I said, do you believe that Muhammad is a messenger of God? He said, yes. I said, you're Muslim. And like, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't going to be that easy. If these things create questions in my mind, I need to explore them. I can't just calmly sit by and say, oh, well, I accept it on faith. I'll never forget that, that Friday afternoon, there's like five, 750, maybe a thousand people there. And I'm looking around this room and I'm seeing all these non-white faces. And I thought to myself, what am I doing here? I thought, well, I'm gonna read this Quran and see what it's about. And I started reading it and then I put it away and I left it for several years. And then it, with all that took place with ISIS and the Taliban, I, I got interested again. I made a plan that said, by December 31st, I need to make a decision, a no, go, no go decision. Is this right for me, is it wrong? I found that one of the frustrations in this whole process for me was that there's no place to go to get instruction to be a Muslim. And that was really, really frustrating. I think Allah's put the first challenge in front of me and that he says, it's up to you that this is a self-education process. So if you want to become a Muslim, you have to take the initiative and that's what I did.